I never thought that pursuing your passion and trying to make a living of your passion would be that confusing. 2023 has come to an end and it's the beginning of the year and it can be a quite exciting time for people but also a quite um, scary time. This is where you're setting up goals for the years. Happy New Year everybody. Happy New Year. It's 2024 and it's a time where we are reflecting on what we did last year, what we achieved and we are planning goals for this year and it can be a quite exciting time but also a quite stressful stressful time because if you're looking up back to the things that you achieved uh last year and uh you're not satisfied with it like it can be quite stressful to set up goals for this year hi everyone i'm carla jackson and i'm a self-taught musician artist i write i sing i post my cover on social media on youtube on tiktok i started on TikTok. It's been one year that I started my creative journey. I wanted to reflect on the things I did, the things I learned through the process, how I felt. And this can be applied to any kind of creative. All my life, I, I knew from a very early age uh, in my life that I wanted to create things. I wanted to make art and I wanted to live from that heart, you know. I didn't realize really early what I wanted to do, but I knew for sure that I had to create. It's when I started to grow up and watching my favorite artists on stage, me being in my bedroom and trying to learn all the choreography and sing all the lyrics and I was just a rock star in my head. Very early that I realized that I loved singing, I loved performing and whenever I start dance classes we always had like a, a dance gala. I just loved being on stage and it was at that time where I realized that I want to sing. I, I want to be a performer. I want to be on stage, I want to sing. I quickly realized when I said to my mom that I want to be a singer and she answered me and said, wow, this is not a living, like you can make a living out of this, so forget it about it. And it broke my heart. I remember crying. <laughs> and so I just kind of grew up and lived my life and 2023, arrived i kept saying that i was i felt so frustrated because i felt like i had a creative need but i kind of stopped myself from doing it because i was afraid i was afraid of people's reaction i was afraid of failing i was afraid of not being liked uh, making fun of and i was so done 2020 i say fuck i'm gonna do it i'm living once fuck that shit fuck all that anxiety Fuck me, fuck you, fuck everyone, fuck everything. I'm gonna do it and we'll see where this is gonna lead me. And now it's been one year and these are the things I wish I knew before getting into my creative career. This one can be long, so just take something to drink, something to eat. We're just gonna chill, we're just gonna talk, we're be between friends. I just hope that I, this can help anyone. So if it does, it will be good. So first thing I wrote, I didn't know how overwhelming it could be. When I started the process of creating covers, filming myself, like having a, doing a whole setup for my videos, for my covers, you know, I liked it. You know, the creative process was so good. I was so addictive. I was like oh my god i was missing out on all of this my whole life you know what was i waiting for like this is the fun part but the, the hardest part is actually to post it on social media uh my very first cover i remember last year like uh, the, at the beginning of the year a song that was actually very trendy was like escapism from ray and i love that song so much and i wanted to make a cover out of it it turns out that i just found myself filming a little bit of the song and posting it on social media this was the scariest shit in my life it seemed nothing but it's really scary you know i received feedbacks and people actually liked it you know and i was like well maybe all of this was in my head breaking news it was actually all in my head but it was very hard whenever i was posting and whenever i was creating to get rid of that voice inside my head that said that i wasn't good enough that what i was doing was cringe that i wasn't good enough i had a huge imposter syndrome at the beginning of my creative career because i, I actually made a whole video about uh, a whole tiktok about that if you want to see i come from a little town in french normandy i don't have any musical background i barely 
barely know music theory uh, I, I don't know how to produce I don't play any instrument my only instrument is my voice and I was so I felt like I, I didn't have my word to say because I wasn't in business you know but everybody start from a point I actually had to receive a lot of feedback so it kind of eased my thoughts but it was so overwhelming like those thoughts was so paralyzing the amount of time I wanted to give up like I felt like I couldn't really enjoy everything I was doing everything I was creating all the feedback I was receiving I felt like I couldn't really enjoy it because I always had this voice in my head telling me that every single thing I did sucked yeah and these thoughts got even worse when I had my very first hating comments people telling me that their ear were bleeding whenever i was singing and that i should stop whatever i was doing it felt like my worst case scenarios like what my anxiety was trying to convince me of was true because people was telling me that but something that you have to remember that when you first start to have haters it means that you're doing great you know never forget that thing about haters is that it's just a reflection of themselves it's not a reflection of who you are it says more about them than it says about you so don't deep dive don't try to uh, argument with them don't try to debate don't try to figure out why they said that at the first they're just dumb people full of shit and they're just jealous of what you're doing because you have the fucking balls to do what they wish they wanted to do and sometimes they're just people like you don't know what they do with their life like they just spend time being mean behind their screen and that's not your problem as i said uh those thoughts blah 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 were uh kind of paralyzing at one point i just wanted to give up because i couldn't enjoy everything i was saying everything i was doing you know it, it's supposed to be fun i'm singing i'm doing things i love i'm finally living you know it really felt like finally living for the first time and it's supposed to be fun i really did I wasn't enjoying all of that. And all the nights I cried. I cried in my room and I wanted to give up because I was like, what is the point of doing something you love if it's for being tortured by those thoughts, you know? And I, I was like, what's the point? I'm tired all the time. It's exhausting. I'm crying a lot. This is not how things were sold to me. I feel that all those negative thoughts about yourself comes from a deeply rooted problem that a lot of us has actually that comes from traumatic experiences what we've been through i just suggest you to try to heal your inner child but this is not my job it's your job of a professional i think you should go to therapy because everyone needs to go to therapy i can advise you um a very I, I found out this tiktok creators that talks about like creative blog creative process creative traumatic their name is couture and still the next thing i wanted to talk about was like self-comparison this one whether you're creative or not especially if you're creative is inevitable let me tell you you will you will go through that phase it's killing the personality don't do it I kept comparing myself to other creatives that were in my say maria musician like independent musician and i was like they are so cool i'm so mad i'm not like that you know i wish i had i wish i had this person audacity i wish i had this person talent i wish i could play guitar the same way this person does it i wish i could play piano i wish i could write song compose produce create the way that person does it and i was like they have a lot of followers people love them i wish i was like that but i'm not like that i fucking suck at what i'm doing you know i think this is something that everyone in a creative process does i started to do things uh that didn't feel authentic to me just to be uh liked by the algorithm i wasn't doing things i truly love i was doing things for the trend which is something you should never do it's okay to not having everything figured out it's okay if you still don't know what kind of artist you want to be it's okay to not have everything figured out like it, life would be way easier if we had everything figured out uh, it's okay to try things it's okay like I still don't know what kind of artist I I want to be I have an idea of it but I'm still not it and it's okay it's okay to learn things it's okay to try things to start new things those things take time so don't worry whether it's about what you want to do what you want to look like what you want your art to look like whether it's a niche your niche your aesthetic your content it's okay 
to not have everything figure it out. I really thought that I, I would start making videos and look like the way it does in my head. I don't know if you see what I mean. I really thought that I would start on YouTube and I and everything would look exactly the way I expected it. Breaking news, things never happen the way you want them to happen. I think we live in a time where people are obsessed with aesthetic, you know, people are obsessed and including me, you know, but I'm trying to unlearn this mindset. If you're not falling into like, I don't know, a coquette category or goth or whatever, it's it doesn't make what you're doing less important and less uh, authentic so you'll keep evolving all the time and i i didn't realize that i just take a personal example i have to film my music i have to film my covers and i film everything on the i record everything on garage band with this mic you know and mix and master my sound and i just watched a few videos and i didn't realize that with the time i was actually learning how to mix vocals and how to master vocals you are always learning you have to accept that you can know something the first time the first time you do it you have to accept that you are not a genius at everything i know it can be frustrating but life wouldn't be fun if everyone would be perfect in everything and in everything they try they start like they're nailing it this is not how life it is i don't believe in genius concept you learn by practicing you learn by doing things by trying by failing by succeeding you're gonna fail you're gonna fuck things up you're gonna suck at things but you're gonna learn and you're gonna evolve all the time so it's okay to not have everything figure it out nothing stays the same everything evolves all the time so yeah try different things enjoy the creative process things change people change everything change as the great kim namjoon himself said it you know do whatever the fuck you want. Don't niche. This next point is like don't over or underestimate things. Which means don't over or underestimate work, time spent on the audience engagement and growth. You know, don't underestimate or overestimate all those things. Whenever we want to be content creators or artists and just putting ourselves out there, I just, I, I think that everyone got tricked by all those videos like how to grow your YouTube channel from zero to like 100,000 subscribers in six months. And we watch those videos, we recreating every step that it said in the video and it's still not working things don't work the way that you expect it because there's so many factors to take in consideration it depends on a lot of things it depends on the content that you do it depends on what kind of things that you share you're not gonna grow the same way if you're into gaming than if you're into music or into painting than into vlogging and lifestyle it's not the same thing because it's a different kind of audience and whenever i started i thought i would grow really fast because I saw a video of one of my favorite content creator and said that I did this if you post consistently it's gonna work so I thought I was going to rise really fast truth is I didn't I don't have a lot of followers I have I don't know maybe 30 followers on YouTube things take time creative process can be exhausting so not everyone can just spend every day creating content and posting every day consistently i i haven't tried this technique maybe it works i'm sure it works if you start posting consistently but not everyone is suited for that i am not suited for that i like it's too much pressure for me and once again don't and don't overestimate or underestimate either your potential or, or the potential of your content because there was some video i did where i spent hours on it it turns out that i only have like i don't know 200 views but on the contrary work where i spent a little bit of time actually Actually worked better my cover of aura from lady gaga on tiktok blow out and i didn't expect it that at all like i have around like 24k on this video and a lot of comment and a lot of feedback and everyone telling me that it was doing good and that i sounded like gaga please don't hype me up like that because you don't know what it can awake <laughs> 
you never know how algorithm is gonna treat you you never know how people like receive what you're doing this is something very important and probably the most important part is that you have to do things for yourself you have to post things for yourself you have to create things for yourself without expecting something in return and i know that it can be very challenging especially if you have anxiety or if you're a neurodivergent person like actually a lot of creative are unfortunately do things for yourself D don't care just post just do it art is about you if you're making art in order to please the others it's not like authentic you have to do things for yourself whenever i'm nervous of posting something for me i like to imagine that my only viewer is me my 13 years old self 10 years ago i wanted to have a youtube channel so bad i wanted to to do the same things that i that my favorite uh, artists and people or and content creator were doing just post like nobody's watching only you and the younger version of you is watching another important point of that video uh the algorithm and the numbers the way a algorithm has fucked our brain up is insane we as people tend the value of what we are doing by the number of likes and followers and views and we tend to believe that if you have less view you are a less talented person and that nobody cares about you and it's funny how i make this video because i'm trying to convince myself you know i had those thoughts all the time saying oh my god like there's not a lot of people watching me you know nobody cares what i'm doing i fucking suck you know all you know the drill and i'm trying to make this video to convince myself but to convince everyone it's just your anxiety we live in an era where quality is based upon numbers and that if you don't have 1 million subscribers and every video is like 500,000 views like if you don't have this and if you don't have a lot of comment like you suck breaking news you don't i feel like even people came up with the idea if you don't have a lot of followers you're nothing you're no one a, a comment on one of my uh favorite indie artists and she was promoting her music and somebody said the proof that you're flopping is that nobody's using your sound on tiktok tiktok doesn't qualify the quality of your work you know it's not because you're not famous on tiktok like you're flop if you think that being successful in music is only being successful on tiktok let me break it down to you you are very wrong very very wrong just as tyler the creator himself said just don't try to be distracted by numbers and people and dumb people on the internet like trying to convince you that you're no one if you don't have all those things don't, don't try doing things that are not really you just to gain more followers the thing is that you never know who watch you never know who will be rich with your video there is just so many things inside of us that makes us who we are that there will always be people who will be entrusted by what you're saying if you are going into that creative career in order to get viral stop everything that you're doing the very first essence of creation is for you you know it's not about the numbers it's not about the views it's not about the like it's not about the achievement that you have it's not about the award it's not about the money it's about you and if what you're creating is helping you that's the most important just like lady gaga said herself you don't have to ask validation of people to be an artist all you need to have to be an artist is a canva and a fucking paintbrush everything is about perspective if there is like 200 people that come enter my room and watch what i'm doing it's completely amazing another thing is that not everything you do has to be perfect this one is hard to deal with i know i know that we as artists are tend to be perfectionists but we can't make shitty art make shitty things dawn is better than perfect i know it's very cheesy i know a lot of people already told that but dawn is better than perfect different setup because my phone decided to stop recording and my storage was full so uh, something i wanted to talk about was uh the fear of never doing enough and that you always have to do more and more it's about uh the fact that you know if you want to succeed uh, on social media people are telling you that you have to post consistently we don't talk about the fact that it can be tiring 
and exhausting and repetitive to post every day. Not everybody is suited for that. Some people have ADHD. You're already putting yourself out there on social media, which is a great step and it's a very important step. This consistency thing that you always have to do more and more comes from the hustle culture. It makes us think that the only thing that human beings are here to do is to work and to always do better and better and better this is something you had to get rid of which is very toxic too and it's gonna put a lot of pressure on you and the hustle culture wants us to always work always be active and this is the reason why whenever you're resting and you're feeling tired like you kind of feel guilty like oh my god i'm lazy i'm not doing those things it's okay to rest it's okay to get bored it's okay to if you're creating like if you're writing a song for example you're stuck sometimes you just have to put the things aside let everything rest and go back to it later creation is like pregnancy you know it takes time hallelujah was written in seven years it's okay to rest when you feel like your dreams and your passions can be exhausting allow yourself to chill take a chill pill i give you the permission to take a chill pill. this one is very important and i feel like a lot of influencers and a lot of creatives on different platforms don't talk about it and i'm just so tired of people not talking about it you are not the job that you are doing you're still a creative i feel like nobody talk about this i feel like they're living out of it but most of the time they don't and nobody talks about the financial issues especially when you start your creative career you're not gonna live out of it it's been one year that i'm un unemployed and i didn't want it to do something else than creating because i felt like uh, i was so afraid for it to take my whole time i felt like if i started doing another job than creating creation it would be over you know my creativity w would be dead and i didn't want it to enter in a cycle of eat sleep work repeat gen z we grew up our parents like always talking about work and seeing how exhausted they were from work and we are a generation who don't want to be exploded at work at the end of the day i have to eat i have to put a roof above my head i needed money and i i wasn't making money from uh, all the the tiktoks and youtube things on the 1st of February, I'm gonna start a new job. I just want you to know that you are not your job. Your job doesn't define you. We live in a society that tends to think that if you're doing this specific job, like it says a lot about you, but you're, you're like, your job doesn't say anything about you. Way more than your job. And it's not taking that creativity away from you. Remember that your 9 to 5 job is temporary. It's something that allows, allows you to survive. It's temporary phase before we are able to fully leave of our creation. You never know what life has for you. Finally, if I can sum up everything, be you, do you, be authentic, love who you are, love what you do. Don't lose yourself to fit in. Don't try to make everything perfect. Creation takes time, it's messy. Do weird things, try different things. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to try new things. This whole thing of having like a very perfect uh, aesthetic feed on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, have everything beautiful, well-made, perfect, is impossible. The most important is that you are like what you're posting. You're not posting for your friends friends you're not posting for people you're posting for yourself do whatever the fuck you want don't stress on stupid things trust the process that's the most important trust the process and you'll see where life will lead you enjoy live experience because that's the beauty of life and that's what life is about experiencing learning if you liked this video please give me some feedback i would love to hear what are your thoughts about what i said how do you feel about your creative journey and until next time you creative fool see you soon bye thank you